An old wizard who grew a beard mostly because shaving cream costs tuppence a bag. Really? I don't think that... Be careful with the magic there, good sir. You might hurt somebody. Never mind. Ah, let's see. Wildebeest baked in a poodle's eye sauce. Poodle's eye sauce? Newt's liver pate with pickles and cream. <laughs> Ex senior wrangler legs in garlic butter. It's an acquired taste. I do hope that door gives a clear run to the latrine. <laughs> I would say that it should give the clear run towards the uh, dump site where we're gonna put all of this food. Seriously. Yuck. Yet another bearded old wizard. Well, they're wizards and they're supposed to have some weird beards. A bearded old wizard. Or rather, the bursar. Windle Poons. A very, very aged old wizard with a beard used mainly for collecting tobacco stains. Really? He doesn't seem the kind that smokes a pipe. Would you believe he gets a full tenure for this? Full tenure for... banging the gong... to tell everybody, hey, it's dinner time? Really? You know, I've always wanted to ring one of these. Well, if we had the uh, tool for it, we might do it. But we don't, so we can't. Hmm. Long, wooden, clearly quite magical. Here! It's got a knob on the end. Well, then it's not really a staff. Something else. But apparently it's magical, so... It is a staff. Hey! <laughs> a girl! What's a girl doing in here? He's got not a girl. Yeah, he's got a beard and mustache. Why are you? Why are you wearing a dress? You're wearing a dress too. It's a wizard's robe, not a dress. I knew a girl's dress once. Splendid, very good at pickling. Very good at pickling eels. She was. Pickling eels. Ugh. Well, I once knew a girl, too, of course. Of course. Of course? Well, why are you of course? <sighs> you old coo- you, like you, you ought to be out and about, exploring a world of adventure. That's what we're going to vote. Wine, <laughs> women, and, and, and pickles. Why pickles? Look, I am out and about. Yeah. Well, you can't be too good at it if you're already off course, young air freshener. Young. No one's off course. I just use the phrase as a pleasantry, a manner of address. Yeah, of course. But then again, he's very old and senile. Why is he still here? Let's make a joke out of it. Useful for inflicting irony, sarcasm, and bad jokes on people. And what was the first one? Useful for exchanging pleasantries with somebody. The question mark? Useful as a means of getting an answer. Ah. Useful for venting frustration and anger. I'm sure we're gonna go there after the question. Useful for leaving a conversation. Pickling? Oh, how fascinating. Pickled? Who's pickled? You don't... Mm. No one's pickled. You started it. I don't even like pickles. But apparently he likes what? pickles. Oh, they were wonderful pickles. What are you talking about? How dare you cast me, 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 me aspersions on them? On, on, on pickles. Damn, I've, I've lost it. What were we talking about again? Even I don't know anymore. Um, pickles? Don't. Uh, What's pickled? What? Hmm? what? What do you mean? Well, the eels were pickled, weren't they? What? Pickled elves? Damn, there he is. I told them to lock that liquor cupboard. Go on, boy, get after them. We're not really going anywhere with these conversations. No, no pickles, not pickled. 
chemicals or try the kitchen. Get out. Stop wasting my time. We're not wasting your time. You're wasting our time because we're not getting anything out of this. But it's hilarious. So, what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. That's just the point. Now young twerps like you think they can come in here, rubbish our women and, and, and steal all our pickles. He's steal? really... Now do I look like a thief? He's really obsessed with the pickles, isn't he? My stick. They all want my magic stick. Well, it's got a knob on the end. be off with you, you, you dastardly overcleaner. The overcleaner? No, no, look. I don't want your wretched stick. Actually, we do. So, so it's the pickles you're after then, is it? You devilish young trouser. Did you just call well, me pants? I'm onto you, you know. I'm onto you, you young bookcase. Now look, this is not the problem that I wanted to address. He's not only obsessed with pickles, but he has the weirdest uh, uh, insults. You young bookcase. Is the end shaped like a bell? No, it's just a knob. It's a ball. This, this uh, staff here, it's not a magical staff. It's the... It's the... It's the... Uh, well, it's a staff, but it's used to play the gong, you know. Look, I just want to find somebody who can talk a little sense. Well, well we won't find any sense here. After sense? all. Perfumes? No. Well, I'll not have it. No, no, sir, I won't. Dallying with women folk on the premises is against the rules. Otherwise, we'd, we'd, we'd all be doing it. You young bathrobe. I have you defrocked for this. Bathrobe. Look, I haven't done a thing, honestly. Well, not yet. What? Well, well uh, how can you be a man of the world if you never sample the finer things in life? Oh, women, wizard staves, pickles. pickles. Well, if I go and do that, you said you'd defrock me. It won't do, it just won't do. Of course it won't do. Young tweezers like you coming in here and, and taking off their frocks. Tweezers? I, I won't stand for it. I, 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 this city is getting into, into a fine old pickle. Oh, please don't get started on the pickles again. You said pickles yourself. Pickles? Mm. Don't eat pickles if you're wearing a dress. You'll stain the hem. Oh. Why are you wearing a dress? Oh. It all goes in a circle. It goes in a circle. <laughs> this seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. And besides, he said he said that he would go somewhere to find some sense. You're in this world, Rincewind. Nothing makes sense in this world. You've lived here your whole life and you still don't understand that nothing makes sense here. So let's talk to the bursa. So, you're the bursa. What does a bursa do exactly? Good question. Well, it's a very important job. Accounts, expenditure, occasional bouts of irrationality, the assessment of grants. So you're the accountant. Well, it, it sounds a bit, well, boring, doesn't it? That's the job's main attraction, my surgical sock. Surgical sock, are you These the These are for life. Sure. So, since wizards are naturally extremely long-lived, that means the only way to get promoted is to assassinate your superiors. Uh-huh. They've been popping off like mayflies around here for some seasons. <laughs> Sometimes we've got, wait for it, more wazards than wizards. <laughs> They're in no danger from me. I never really thought about promotion. Wazards, you see? Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, we get it. My post is safe, though. Who wants to claw their way up to the top only to become an accountant in a silly hat? Mark my words, folding trouser press. Survival is all a matter of identifying your proper niche. What's with the... Preferably a niche well removed from anything anyone else finds desirable. What's with these old people and their weird nicknames that they call you all the time? 
I mean, seriously. Seriously. So you're the, uh... The accountant. Burst. The burser. Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> I'd hate to have forgotten the name of someone useful. <laughs> are you telling me that accountants are not useful? If you don't, if you think that he is not useful, you wouldn't get paid. Or maybe you would get paid, but in random numbers and not the amounts that you would like. Look, you're the bursar, aren't you? That's right. I do the finances, books and things, and I'm quite totally insane, you know. So let's say everybody else in this Any place. Any calculations you need, I'm your giant frog. Uh huh. But that's just accounting. Still. Surely to hold a major position in a wizard's university, you must be able to perform magic. His magic is math. After all, that's what the place is all about. Math is magic? Magic is all very well, young sink disposal unit, but mathematics is the more powerful art. Told oh, you. come on. It is. Science is... You don't believe me? Very well, Mr. So-called Scented Furniture Polish. Care to watch while I make your grant disappear? Yeah, told you. Them fancy, fancy mathematics is powerful than any magic. Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. Actually, please be a stranger. We're not going to be talking to you again. Listen, one thing I've always meant to ask. These, uh, these dresses we wear, are they, um... Are they strictly necessary? Eh? The robes, lad, are symbolic of our dedication. You see, this is not so much a calling, a, a profession, as a condition of mind. I'm talking to... By wearing long robes, we imply a somnambulistic state. I'm talking... An attitude in which we walk dreamily through this world with our minds occupied by higher things. I wasn't asking you, Bursa. Higher. Like, say, as high as this hat. No, he meant spiritually. Well, the hat, too. Why is everybody else talking? Its weight employs loftiness of thoughts. I thought we were talking to the dean. Or it might imply that we should have let our mothers keep on dressing us. What's more, it keeps young whippersnappers like you from running off. Really? Eh? Would you want to walk the streets looking like a refugee from a somewhat suspicious pencil factory? No, he would look like a wizard. Point taken. I mean, who would who would consider this being like a refugee from a pencil factory? That didn't make any sense. Point taken. So look, as an aged wizard, I mean, you know, as someone who's climbed to the very depths, is there any advice you feel you might like to pass on? I mean, a few words of guidance, perhaps to one who hopes to follow in your pointy footsteps. Say it loud. Uh, yes. Well, young fellow my wallpaper. Well, I'd say that of all lessons in life, always learn to expect the unexpected. And that mm. works for everything. But if I expect it, then it isn't unexpected. Eh? Well... Uh, well, yeah, but it's a saying, well, and it works. By definition, it can't be unexpected if it actually is expected. Quite right, my boy. Well spotted. Good show. In which case, my advice to you is to always expect the expected. Is that clear? I expect so. <laughs> I expect so. And yes, in love, that is Tony Slattery. He's one of the voice actors. Nice, nice on you that you recognized him. So, your faculty heads, the giants of wizardry, this is it. This is as good as life gets. Well, pretty much. Contemplating promotion? I mean, seriously, you get free food. No, I'm contemplating a change of career. What career would you go for then, Rinse Wind? What other talents do you have except for being lazy? Let me think. Well, there's also that you're snarky. Hmm, what else? 
you got the most sense in the world. Maybe you could be a street peddler. Oh, wait, there's already one of those. Um, I don't know, what kind of career would work with Rincewind? What else could he go for than wizardry? Is this all you do all day? Just sit and make a public nuisance of yourself? I'm reserving my powers. What powers? Magical powers. Well, for a start, I can read your mind. Really? What do you see? Not much. We. <laughs> you must have the big print version. Was he talking to me or Rincewind? I think he was talking to us. You don't just read minds. You can see past the game. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Yeah, it was me. Move, Rincewind, run. <laughs> Lecturer in recent runes. A conversation topic. A conversation topic. Which is the luggage this time. Let's just talk to him. Good day, sirs. Is it? <laughs> so you say. What with the bottom falling out of the tapioca market. Tapioca! He's off again. Pass the dried frog pills. Laugh away, you old boy valve. It's all this dragon business. That's what's doing it. Snatching tapioca out of the mouths of the deserving elderly. Dragons? Dragons in the town? A likely story. <laughs> Swamp dragons, he means? No, a real dragon. Not one of those little marsh tiddlers. We seen it. Poppycock, there's no such thing. It's outside, on the tower. Dragons only exist if you believe in them. I don't believe in them, they don't believe in me. So we're both happy. Yeah, but some people believe in them because there's one outside on the tower. We saw the shape. It's very dragony shape. With gleaming eyes. We saw the glint in its eye. Not gonna go check? Oh yeah, because you're lazy bastards. Another busy day in the faculty, gentlemen? We are cogitating. I hope I heard that right, said in a knowing tone of voice, Nudge Nudge. Cogitating, my lad, is that process by which the wise make space inside their minds for more ideas. You make more space for ideas by sitting on your backside sipping a cup of milky tea. Well, that would do it. Hit him. Hit him. Please don't. My boy, ideas are normally sold by volume, not by weight. Well, it's best to let them settle so you can find more room in the top. No, that works. We have wisdom and you do not. I don't call me stupid. For instance, this is the action of a clever man. What is? What does it say? Rizwin? What's so clever about writing down the word monkey? Oh no, you said monkey. Wisdom, my lad, is never cheap. Well, that teaches him. Well, I didn't know you were selling it by the pound. <sighs> that was a bad pun. Good and bad at the same time. You know, say no more, say no more. Nudge, nudge. Excuse me, where might I go to find the patrician? In the castle, in the middle well, of Ankh-Morpork. -more don't be an idiot, boy. Just look for the palace. Yeah. It's Is he approachable? Can you actually speak to him? Yeah, but you gotta get in line and have permission. Oh, yes. But he's a mean man with a word. Be careful if he uses sarcasm on you. And for heaven's sake, run for it if he resorts to... Ooh, irony. That's bad. 
Right? Does this place always have to be this way? Not always. Sometimes they have cake. What way? Well, this way. Nothing happening, you it's mean? It's chaos. It's, it's undisciplined. It's as if I'm thrashing about in a sea of questions, like, like I'm screaming out against soul-destroying winds. Isn't that a mixed metaphor? A little bit. I mean, there are times when I dream about just shaking this place by the neck until it starts talking sense. Well, it's this world, and unseen. I have one like that too. It's the unseen university. You'll never oh, find really? any sense here. Oh yes. In one magic moment, I stride like an intellectual giant across the rooftops of the world, slicing through the Gordian what's his name of fuzzy thinking for all time. And then I have this other terrific dream that I'm being smothered in fruit yogurt and sucked up inside a whale. What? Thankfully, that's not my problem. So far, anyway. We can but hope. Say no more. Look, does anyone know why this luggage keeps following me? It's your luggage. That, that sapient pair would, that luggage is. There's no getting rid of it. It'll follow you everywhere. No, you mean anywhere. Sapient pear wood? Yeah. They once used it to make containers for grave goods. You don't expect it to be mahogany, do you? I suppose someone hoped that you really could take it with you. <laughs> oh, great, the, the lecturer. Is in fact the luggage. The luggage is made of sapient pear wood, and once it attaches itself to somebody, it will follow that person everywhere. Just like a little puppy. Or an obedient dog. Well trained dog. It is like a runaway suitcase, albeit one with lots of little pink legs. Well, mostly eight or ten. In this game, the luggage is a convenient storage device. Not to mention a convenient homicidal maniac, should one be required. Yeah, they're very defenseless about their owner. Thank you, David Edinburgh. It was in the style of David Edinburgh, at least. It's not him. And where did we get a banana? Hmm. Fruit with its own wrappings. Where did they get? Where did, where did that come from? Did the luggage have it already? And how long has it been in there? Seriously. Straw tied to a stick. Yeah, that's what the broom is. Technically, I suppose it is a broom. Yeah, it is. Yeah. If it's, a, if it's a long stick with straws tied to the other end, it will be technically a broom. 